Hi, this is Bob Cook and this is a presentation on the Bipolar Disorder, formerly known as the Manic Depression Disorder. Which brings, of course, elevated mood on the manic side and deep depression on the depression side. And usually the depression follows the manic or elevated mood. So let's look at the elevated mood or the manic side. Um, so this is the mania which often brings uh, or can bring psychosis or psychotic experiences where the uh, individual experiences a break in reality. There's also hypermania which is a milder form of the mania or the step before the full-blown mania and of course hypermania um, is common on the road to the full manic um, process. Okay, features of mania. So with mania will come high increased energy. Um, people feel they can do anything, that they're unstoppable. And they'll have grandiose thoughts um, in this process. They will have increased racing thoughts with the high energy. They'll often feel con confused, but their thoughts are tumbling one after the other so fast that often uh, you can't keep up with their thinking, you can't follow their thinking streams, they're so fast. Um, they feel usually more and more irritable as the manic uh, phase continues. Uh, they don't sleep much, there's a need for sleep reduction usually two or three hours or even one hour or maybe half an hour um, in terms of sleep. There's hypersexuality quite often and may in fact have senses of impulsivity and excessive spending. Their concentration is um, zapped. They very much have a short attention span. Um, they're impulsive. Their speech is very rapid unutterable manner, uh, very, very nice, quick. More features of the manic phase, uh, they have increased goal-oriented activities, but actually they don't um, get anything done um, because their, their racing thoughts, their manic um, energy means they don't get anything done or finished, um, certainly not finished. They're manically happy or they feel they are and, and that's really the sort of um, happiness that comes with the high energy, uh, false happiness in a way. Um, and the above behaviours really do impair individuals' ability to work or function, um, not only in the workplace but in relationships. They often have a history of substance abuse. Uh, which is a form of self-medication for them and they certainly have grandiosity and delusional ideas which may lead to violent behaviour. Hypermania as I said is a minor form of mania. Hypermania is stressful though uh, even though it's not a full-blown manic episode and may not develop into a full-blown manic episode. In fact you might have what's called a hypermanic event and if not accompanied with depressive episodes, it's often not seen as problematic. Uh, of course, the high energy comes with it. Well, not so much as a full-blown um, process, um, but it's not seen as problematic unless the mood changes are uncontrollable or volatile. So the other side of this, uh, which is the depression, which follows the manic uh, or even the hypermania processes, um, with depression comes increased incapacitation and ability to do anything, lack of motivation. There's bouts of crying and feeling very hopeless and worthless in the process. They have negative outlook on life and feel like you know they've got negative thoughts. They um, are far more internalized. There's limited external contact, and they're much more internal, and very little eye contact really. They have persistent feelings of sadness, 
they have problems in concentration. They often report thoughts of death and suicidal idolization. Um, very common. They certainly very self-loathing. Um, severe depression here may bring psychosis and delusions or even hallucinations. And they have a loss of interest in life, hobbies, etc. And the passions they had before, which were certainly increased in the hypermania or the manic phases, were, um, were certainly decreased in this depression. Okay, you've got types of bipolar here as well, when we talk about bipolar disorder. You've got the bipolar 1 disorder, and you've got the bipolar 2 disorder. If you look at a bipolar 1 disorder definition, it is that you have at least one manic episode, with or without depressive episodes. Definition of bipolar 2 disorder is at least one hypermanic episode, but no manic episodes, and one major depressive episode. Classical diagnosis here, bipolar disorder is commonly diagnosed in childhood, but onset can occur during adolescence or early adulthood. Medication treatment given out for the bipolar process. You've got mood stabilising, perhaps the one that's most known is lithium. And lithium is supposed to reduce risk of suicide, self-harm and positive when treating the manic episodes and preventing future manic episodes. There's adic uh, given out antipsychotics if necessary and you've got anticonvulsants if necessary. And of course, this may lead to hospitalisation if there's a risk to self for other people. And please remember that in periods of mania, antidepressants will be recommended to be stopped. Psychotherapy then um, is often recommended. You've got uh, humanistic therapies uh, that might cover counselling as well. Um, Transaction analysis, except for Gestalt, existential psychotherapy. And then there's the psychodynamic um, therapies, which are often uh, good in this sense. So psychotherapy treatment is seen that aimed at ele elevating core symptoms, recognising episode triggers, reducing negative thoughts, and helping people to connect past to present emotions through thoughts and behaviours. One other thing I want to talk about briefly is the idea of rapid cycling, um, which often, uh, like some people say, not so often, comes with uh, the manic uh, part and the depressive um, process in bipolar. So rapid cycling is um, at least four major depressive manic or hypermanic or mixed episodes to have occurred during a 12 month period. And then you've got ultra rapid, which uh, means that it happens within two or three days. And you've got ultra ultra rapid, which is uh, cycling through the manic and depressive cycle within a day, sometimes in fact hours, which is particularly exhausting or the morning or the afternoon, there might have been a cycle. Okay, thank you very much.